Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So, in this video in the Playwright, we are going to talk about how to handle different frames. Why I'm covering this chapter today? Because uh, later on, if any element is available inside the frame and then we have to handle it. So before covering the different types of selectors and the locators in Playwright, better we cover frame also so that we will go inside the frame and let's see inside the frame there is one shadow dom is there so better we understand how to handle frame in playwright it's very simple very straightforward what we have to do that we have to pierce the frame so for example i have two application one is this and one is this and let's check this one first so let's say i want to capture the title this title bar the header of this particular page so you right click on it and go to inspect and here I can see this is the H2 header is available where the text is available directly here. So I can apply the fine. I can create the locator and dot a text content method. I can use it, but no, it will not work here. You can see it's available actually inside the frame over here, right? So what we have to do is we have to reach at this particular frame and then we have to reach over here at H2 because this H2 is available inside the frame. So how to do that? So for doing this, for let's first launch the browser. Uh, browser is already launched. Let's launch the page here. So let's do the new page. And uh, we will hold one page reference here. So let's see page reference is equal to this. Import the page. And then from the page dot one method, navigate method, and then the URL. So this is the URL that I'm going to use it. And uh, simple paste it. Perfect then from this page we have to reach at the frame side okay so first we will go to the frame so there is one method is available see the frame locator is available frame by url frame other things also i'll tell you later so you can just give the frame name also whatever the frame name is available that also you can pass that and frame locator also you can pass that so first let's see this frame locator and you have to give the uh, string selector that you have to pass so here you can see this is a frame where name equal to main is available so what you can do is that you can just simply quickly create a css selector or xpath also you can create that so i'm going to create this is my frame i'm assuming you are already aware of how to prepare the basic css selector this is a tag name frame name is equal to this main that's it so with this will give you the frame locator will give you the frame locator object and then from here you can just simply go to this Another method now we have to go to the specific locator and what is that locator name? I'm looking for this H2 locator here. So under this frame, you can go to the child locator H2 directly like this. So frame locator, frame locator to locator. And what is the locator? The locator is H2. And what exactly you want? So I want the text content of this, whatever the text is available. Just give me that I'll store inside the header. And then I'm just going to print it on the console. This is my header. Okay, so let's print it. So I'm going to run it. Let's see if it is working or not. Okay. So if you directly go to locator h2 dot text content, it will not work. So you have to go through via frame locator. And here you can see title bar top HTML is getting printed on the console. Here you can see that, right? Perfect. This is absolutely working fine. If you want to, if you don't want to use frame locator, what you can do, you can just simply write page dot a frame, the name of the frame also, you can use that. What is the name of the frame? See if the name is available main. See name is equal to main is there. Simple try this main and then dot same dot locator dot text content we will try to capture. So I'll say this is a locator h2 text content and then I'm going to store let's see this is my h2 header is equal to this and then I'm going to print this h2 once again. Okay so let's print this h2 once again. I'm going to comment it out this one and uh, let's see this is also working or not. So run as Java application. See, this is also absolutely working fine title bar top dot HTML. So you have two choices. Either you can use the frame locator method or you can use a frame and then you can pass directly the name of the frame also. In most of the cases, name most of the time it's available or ID is also available. Then you can create the locator. You can create any XPath or CSS selector also. You can use that. See, if you really want to check with the XPath, let me show you with the XPath also. If you really want to create the frame locator with XPath, see this is in XPath, it, has to, it will start with two forward slash. I'll write at the rate name is equal to main. That's it. Let me just comment it out this one. And uh, let's see it is working or not. So run as Java application. Okay, I hope the XPath is correct. Yes, see you can see title bar top dot HTML is absolutely working fine. Okay, so you can use either locator or direct name also. So this is about the frame. 
Then we have one more HTML tag that is called iframe, right? Here you can see frame and then we will see the iframe also. We will go to this application and in this application, what do you have to do? This is a kind of image first. You have to click on this image so that this registration form will be enabled. So see, I'm just clicking on it and the registration form is enabled. Now I can enter whatever the value that you want to enter over here. So I'll do one thing. I right click on it and go to inspect. And then I'll see this is the input field where some name or ID is already available. And then I'll slightly scroll it up and I'll check that there is a frame or not. See that's written over here. There is one iframe. So this entire form is actually available inside this iframe and the ID is available here. So what I can do is that I can handle this as well. So in this case, I'll do one thing. I'll just try to navigate to this particular URL first. Okay, this is also exactly same way you have to use that either you have frame or iframe in both the cases same thing you have to do that. I'll do one thing let me just comment it out this one and uh, I'll directly start writing the code here. I'll push this code to my git repository also you can just take the code from there. And then I'll say okay fine this is my page dot uh, frame locator that I'm going to use it. And what is the frame locator? The frame locator that I have to use, first of all, that this is iframe. You can see iframe and then you can use the ID also or you can use some other properties, but better to use ID. So I'll say, okay, fine. This is the ID and see this ID is containing something 784. This could be a random number. Next time, if you refresh the page, this number will be different. So we can use dynamic ID concept with XPath. You can use CSS selector also. So if you remember that, you know, in, in Selenium also, we used to have contains function. So let's see, I'm just going to use a frame locator. This is my iframe, put a contains over here like this. And then I'm going to write at the rate ID, whatever the ID that you have copied and remove this numeric number from here. It means give me one iframe starting with double slash here to forward slash here. iframe contains ID equal to this. I'm using an XPath over here. And then I'm going to see what exactly you want from this frame locator. So from this iframe locator, I have to go to the input field. So here you can see that uh, let me just inspect it once again. Let's say I want to enter Naveen over here. Input field where ID is equal to this. So I can just capture this ID quickly. So I'll say this is the again go to the particular locator and then there is an ID for ID. I can use CSS selector with hash and ID is this and then I want to enter the value. So in playwright to enter the value, we don't use send keys. We use a fill method. And then what is the value that you want to enter? For example, let's say I want to enter Naveen automation, something like this that I want to enter. So it's very simple. You can see that first you go to the frame locator, frame locator to the specific locator, which is available inside the frame locator with frame locator. I'm using XPath iframe contains ID equal to this, right? And, but before that, see, I'm going to refresh this page once again. Before entering this, this is right now an image. See here, you can see this is kind of IMG tag. So first you have to click on this image and then only the registration form will be enabled. Then only you can go inside the frame and then enter the value. So first we have to click on, see, I'm going to click on it. And then this, see, I, then only I can enter the color value or mileage value here, right? So we have to click on this image first. So to click on this image first, you can see this is a title. And then I have to create another locator immediately after launching the URL. So I'll simply say page dot locator and this is not available inside any frame. So you simple say, okay, fine. This is the image locator and then simple CSS selector that I'm going to use title is equal to this and then do a dot click so that this form will be enabled first and then the iframe is available and then you enter Naveen automation there. Okay. So let's see this is working or not. So run as Java application. Okay, so here you can see the page is still getting loaded. This is still image. Click on it and then Naveen automation got entered over here. Can you see that got entered here? See this one, right? So this is the way you have to handle frame. Either it is iframe or it is a frame. It really doesn't matter. In both the cases, you can use frame locator. If frame name is already available, you can use frame and then you can directly use the name of the frame. See, in this case, the frame is uh, iframe tag value, but there is no name is available directly. So in that case, you cannot use frame name directly. Okay. You can try with the frame directly. You can pass the ID. Sometimes it might work, but better to use the frame locator. You create with the help of some selector, either it is CSS selector or XPath selector. You can use that. And then 
go to the specific locator and then you fill the value or click on it or whatever you want to perform any action on the specific element perfect so that's all for this particular video i'll come with some more videos with respect to different types of locators that you can create that there are some amazing locators we will see in the next video thank you so much guys thanks for watching navin automation labs i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all